सो गाइज इफ इफ यू आर यूजिंग एक्लिप्स फॉर जावा डेवलपमेंट नाउ जावा डेवलपमेंट कैन बी एनीथिंग इट कैन बी यू आर डेव रोल क्यू ए रोल एस्टेट रोल राइट एदर यू आर राइटिंग ए पी आई ऑटोमेशन और सम यू आई ऑटोमेशन बायस लेनियम ऑन एनी और एनी अदर टूल ओके बट यू यू गाइज आर यूजिंग एक्लिप्स टूल फॉर जावा जावा प्रोग्रामिंग सो देर आर सम शॉर्टकट्स विच आर वेरी हेल्पफुल एंड यू गाइज कैन यूज दी शॉर्टकट्स इन डेली यूज ओके एंड इफ यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग दी शॉर्टकट्स इन वाइल वाइल डूइंग प्रोग्रामिंग इट कैन स्पीड इट कैन स्पीड यूर लाइक कोडिंग स्किल्स प्लस डिवर्किंग स्किल्स ओके सो आई जस्ट राइट डाउन टेन जावा शॉर्टकट्स which which i use regularly uh, while doing coding so i just mentioned these uh, here so these are these 10 uh, shortcuts like yeah uh, we can just do uh, walk through of these uh, uh, shortcuts okay one by one so uh, first of all these uh, keys are mentioned for mac machine like i am i am using mac right now so uh, uh, similarly uh, we will be writing these keys for windows as well okay so uh, the very first thing is uh, you can use control plus m key so on your keyboard uh, you have control key plus m m key okay if you if you press both control plus m key it is used to maximize or uh, restore your editor window okay so we will be seeing some practical demo like how these things works okay so uh, i will be opening eclipse so let's try this uh, shortcut control m let me open eclipse so i am having this uh, uh, project open in eclipse now guys see that uh, this is our, our uh, uh, you can say uh, text editor okay now if you <coughs> want to write code in eclipse you can write code in this area only right now let's let's suppose that uh, you are writing some code right uh, and while writing a code uh, you don't need this package explorer or this console window area right or outline area or some debugging area uh, we are focused just on writing code right so in that case you can maximize this code editor okay how can you do that you can click on this icon so see that icon is saying maximize right so is you can click on this maximize button and similarly once it got maximize now see that your code editor is uh, visible on full screen you can uh, do your coding or programming very easily and usability is good now okay now <coughs> if you want to restore to the previous view you can again click on this cta okay it will restore now similarly uh, we have control m okay control key plus m key so you can use these two keys if you want to use shortcut from your keyboard okay you don't want to use mouse mouse cursor to click here to maximize the window now i will be pressing uh, control plus m key see uh, once i am i am pressing control plus m key it got maximized okay and similarly uh, once it got maximized if you want to restore it again you can press control m key now it got this row okay so this is this is um, i think uh, uh, i use this uh, shortcut every day while doing programming okay so let's move to the next one now this this shortcut is for mac uh, and uh, for windows this is same okay on windows machine we have control key we have m key so it remains same for uh, windows machine if anyone is working on windows machine you can use control plus m keys okay now uh, next shortcut is uh, main method so guys uh, while working with java sometimes we have to create main method okay especially for newcomers okay who are fresh to java programming so they uh, they write main method in every class while while practicing java code okay so let's suppose i am creating uh, one new class here so i am naming it as test1 uh, 
now see that in this test one class uh, this is empty class okay we are not having any method now to do some uh, print statements or perform some operations i need to create main method one way is i can write like this uh, let me turn off caps lock public static white main right like this i have to pass arguments here as well now see that we have to type six or seven keywords to write main method okay so one there is one shortcut you can type use that to create a main method just read this code and uh, write main and press control space see it's showing you main main method and it's showing you syntax of main method as well public static void main string array args now you don't have to write uh, each and every keyword of main method just click on this first first suggestion okay it will create main method see now you can see uh, it's automatically typing complete syntax of main method in java program this is this is very these are very uh, small small topics uh, like people are not aware they can use shortcuts to write code uh, as as per me uh, i think if you know these shortcuts it can speed up speed up your coding skills and programming skills okay so windows you can use the same same shortcut uh, type uh, main keyword and press control plus space key now let's move to the next uh, uh, shortcut control plus space this is for auto completion or auto suggestion you can say uh, like this one okay we we can uh, like we were typing main right after typing main we need to press control space it will it will uh, you can say it will suggest to you all the all the classes methods uh, or objects which you can use in your program and with the with that prefix okay right we are writing main here so it is listing you all the keywords like that uh, first suggestion is main method and second is domain combiner so domain is containing a main substring right and third is domain load store parameter domain manager so all these these can be uh, your classes or interfaces as well right so it will be listing you uh, uh, all all the possible interfaces classes objects uh, variables anything okay so this is called auto completion feature let's suppose uh, uh, after after writing main method i i want to uh, i want to write some uh, you can say print print statement right so i can use sys i can type sys use control space right have a look so it's saying system out so it's it's uh, is printing system dot out dot printer now here you can pass some string to uh, print on screen right so uh, you can write some message inside main method if i execute this program it will print inside main method on the console see it's printing right so again let me show you now if you want to print something on console you have to write system dot out dot println right but there is one shortcut to uh, write print statement so you can type sys and press control space so you can use control key plus space key so if you press these two keys it will suggest you sys out print to standard output so this is your system dot out dot print and statement now here you can pass your argument i hope is clear okay so again uh, for windows is same if you are if you are working on windows machine so you can use the same same keys Our, our fourth point is already covered uh, system dot out dot printl like uh, you can type 
I start of writing this complete statement uh, one by one character you can type sys and press control space and uh, select the second statement sys out clear so again uh, for windows is same now uh, f3 okay so f3 is your function key uh, this is used to uh, move to declaration okay now let's understand what is declaration uh, why some code let's suppose in this program uh, i am performing some operation i am having two values and i am adding these two values okay let me create some values integer a is equal to 10 integer b is equal to 20 okay and i am performing integer c is equal to a plus b Okay, and I am printing this value. See, right? Now let's suppose uh, my current current folks. You can say first value, second value, sum. Okay, now let's suppose. Uh, my current focus is at a sum variable. Why is showing error? Okay, I need to change A to first value, second B to second value. Okay. Now see that uh, there is uh, uh, one variable with the name first value, second value, and third is sum, right? And uh, this uh, variable is used in next line as well, right? So let's suppose our current focus is at line number eight. Okay, this one, sum. Now uh, my cursor is at sum variable. Okay, and I want to see where where this variable is declared. Or you can say I want to see the initial value of this variable. Uh, or let's suppose uh, in this class we are having some uh, variable here. You can say initial value, right? and we are printing this value in this main method now uh, yeah still thing okay so now we are printing this initial value now let's suppose uh, my control is here and i want to see where from or you can say where this initial value is declared okay just put your cursor here on initial value and press f3 okay see that now is is highlighting this line line number four okay so this is called move to declaration so you can see uh, where your variable is declared right now in our program we are having only uh, four to five lines so you can directly see that initial value is declared uh, in the fourth line but uh, when you work on a big project so there can be a number of classes or a number of methods right so you can use this key f3 move to declaration so you can just uh, put my, um, your cursor on this variable and press f3 it will move to the your declared uh, code okay so again uh, this is same for windows uh, in windows you can use the same uh, shortcut key now uh, next uh, shortcut is control shift p uh, so on mac we have one command key okay so on mac you have to use control uh, command command key plus shift key plus p if you are working on windows then you have to use control key okay if you are using windows machine then you have to use control control key plus shift key plus p so you have to use combination of three keys now what is the use of this particular shortcut is to move to end of code block okay let's suppose uh, we are having this main method right now uh, our starting point is this one okay right now we are having only five to six lines so uh, you can say it's easy to easy to uh, find the end right now let's suppose uh, i moved my code to the next page of this editor and i i can see that this is my main method 
so my main method is starting from this line so what i can do is i can just click here now my cursor is blinking my cursor is blinking at this curly brackets right so what i can do is i can press command command uh, plus shift plus p see now my cursor is at the end of main method okay similarly if you are at the end and you can again press here command key shift key and p key so it will it will jump to the starting of the code block actually uh, in any programming language so all the code within parentheses okay so you can say uh, like these curly brackets so in this program this code okay this is code block you can say this is a block of code uh, within curly brackets okay so if you want to move to the end of code block you can use control shift p okay now this is the starting of class okay and i want to uh, move to the end of the class so i can click on this curly bracket and uh, press command plus shift plus p see now my cursor is blinking at end of the end of class okay so uh, right now we are having small program but if you have a bigger program and you are having multiple methods in a class then it's hard to debug like uh, what is the uh, like where is the um, end of this code block right then you can use this shortcut command command key plus shift key plus p key so this is the combination of three keys so now move to the next uh, uh, next shortcut that is command plus dot again uh, if you are using windows machine then control plus dot keys combination of these keys okay now what is the use of this particular shortcut go to the next error in your java program now while while you write program so there can be uh, multiple errors in your program okay so there can be uh, you can say uh, multiple errors like uh, syntax errors or compilation errors let me let me put some errors here okay so in this program uh, let's suppose i am creating some variable and i am i am not uh, writing a semicolon here okay so there's one error this at line number 5 you can see this uh, red icon so this is uh, representing error and i can move from uh, semicolon here so this is my next error and i can move this curly bracket see this is my third error so in this program i am having three errors okay and uh, right now we are having only uh, 14 to 15 lines of code and you can easily see these are the, there are three dots but in a big program you can have a number of errors right so uh, there is one shortcut you can use command key plus dot key if you use this command plus dot key it will move the uh, you can say control to the next error now see that our control is not uh, at any line in this code right if i press control plus dot from my keyboard it will move the cursor to the first error let me press control dot see a is highlighted here and if i press the control plus dot keys again it will move the next error see now this this is highlighted now if i if i press control plus dot again it will move to the line number 14 see now uh, if i press the uh, press these keys again con con command plus dot key it will move to the line number 5 again so uh, using uh, command plus dot keys you can reverse the errors in your program okay and if you are using windows then you can use control plus dot keys to move to the next error in your program i hope is clear 
now let's discuss the next one so uh, next one is control plus q move cursor to the last edit uh, this is very simple uh, let's suppose right now uh, mike uh, i am i am editing here at line number 5 so i put semicolon here right and uh, uh, next i i uh, move my cursor at line number 12 and i am pressing uh, semicolon here now uh, uh, i i want to uh, move to move my cursor to the last position where we edited right last edit was at line number 5 but my current cursor is at line number 12 so i can use control plus q keys to move my cursor back to the previous edit so i can press control q see now my cursor is line number 5 if i press control q again so before that my cursor was at line number 28 right so uh, i can uh, do some more editing like i can uh, I can put uh, curly braces here and I can write some statements okay and now uh, my last edit is at line number 14 and I will move my cursor to this line now if I if I press ctrl Q here it will move my last cursor to line number 14 so that was my last edit okay and if you want to traverse multiple last edit you can use control q so control q is same for both uh, windows and mac okay so guys i hope this is also clear next uh, shortcut is control plus h find any string in your java project or this this is actually a feature of eclipse not java but i'm just uh, covering these uh, features so that uh, people are who uh, mo, uh, who, are, who, is, who are working on selenium or something they can also use this shortcuts control h is used to find any string in java project so right now uh, in this uh, we are having uh, three classes right overload test and test.java test1.java and we want to search any particular string in this complete project and we are not sure where that string is because in a, in a, in a live project you can have thousands of classes right let's suppose i want to uh, search any string from overload test.java let's suppose i want to search this addition addition keyword okay what i can do is i can press ctrl h and i can move to test1.java I can press Ctrl H. Now see that is saying search string. Type your string here, addition. So I am typing addition here. And click on search. It is saying zero filters. Let me search again. Ctrl H. limit to all occurrences let me search that what was the keyword i think that was some typo error so i just copied this addition uh, from here okay and i press ctrl h here I press Ctrl H here and type here. Okay, and uh, click on. Uh, you can here choose case sensitive or not case sensitive. If you want to search for case sensitive, uh, uh, you can uh, you can just check this. Okay, like you can mark it check. Right now, this is not checked, so it will be searching either uh, uh, for all capital or small. Uh, small strings uh, with the uh, uh, with the, you can text of addition okay now click on search so see uh, in this window in search window is listing you uh, two matches clear 
so you can use control h to search any string in your program so this is this is very basic okay you can try it now uh, next is command uh, so before that uh, this is same for windows as well so if you want to search any string for uh, on windows machine so you can use the same shortcut control plus h now next is command plus shift plus r search for any file with the name so in this in this java project right in this java project you can have a number of files and if you want to search uh, or you can say open any file with name right now see that in my text editor i'm not having any open file and i want to search any file with the name so you can use this command plus shift plus r now you can type here any substring name okay now it can be java file it can be property file it can be json file any file okay so just like let's suppose we are having three files overload test 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 one and i want to open overload so i can type overload it will aut automatically suggest to you overload test.java now you can uh, double click on this option and it will open that file for you similarly you can again press command plus shift plus r and search test see i am searching test here now we are getting two files test.java and test1.java now you can double click on any file if you want to open test.java you can click on uh, test.java and if you want to open test one dot java select this and press uh, you can double click here similarly these are file names first one is file names second one is your package names right so your files can be uh, inside different packages in your project right so first uh, uh, value is your file name second value is your module name or package name so you can just double click on any file it will open it so this feature is used to search for any file with the name and uh, this shortcut is from mac and if you want to use for windows you you have to use control key here control plus shift plus r so guys these are basic shortcuts in eclipse uh, uh, for java programming there are many more like uh, f10 f11 these are used for debugging purpose uh, most probably in the next session we will be covering debugging in eclipse how to debug uh, how to debug your job how to debug your java program and your java program and fix errors okay so soon we will be having a session on this topic and this is very important for beginners so guys that's all for today thank you so much